you're sick. Huh? Is it your leg? How long you've been sick? Ke ke leg at 15 ja April. You fell. Huh? Eh. Jesus can heal you. Amen. Do you believe that? Amen. Huh? Amen. Stand up. You can walk. Jesus heals. Touch you. You're free. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday live service under the leadership of Apostle J.B. and Prophetess T.E. Makanisa. And with me here today is my mother, who was located during the service, and the men of God prayed for her, and she started walking. Ma'am, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Today, during the service, Prophet Andres Simone located you and prayed for you for healing. Please let us know what what is wrong or what was wrong rather with your leg and how long has it been happening? Okay, okay. And then heck fit like a spell and a bamboo jaw and galeaka a creek hill. And then Angelaka Mahare did join Nitty Bulle Hill. So Huayra Hala Horak Sanjiki the operation. So get your operation a high four, go color four. Since from then, I sang a Catholic Kono Sepela and Lady Departa and in the Rolobo Soko. And Caddy the two one give way to happy by your check. So banka pechi chesamente happy. So reke tamu beki sa kono sepilan kelej bata mara. Prophet Andre suri lo kon tapelela ke kono kutsamaya without the bata ena agi sa utabisho. Cause since from beke to mane ke try ya kuli train na ke reke tamaya without the bata mara. Heke le train na after ke fetu tamaya ne gu utabisho. So hanuva nong agi sa gu utapain la ke lo kora agi so kate pila mara. Distance take away the Maya big cycle total. The Wushoku Vola, I guess I walk. And how would you encourage somebody at home who's injured like you were? A Lenchula Mutimuli Mogolela or a Harona says Palango Mutim, so Sepalango Batu Mutimusia Hona Hal, Habakano Timela fell. I don't need to touch you, Jesus will touch you. What happened to you, to your leg, sister? Eh? Can you see this woman? Can you just walk? Look at this woman when she's walking. She says she fall down. Are you coming here for the first time? I could. Is it the first time? Who came with you here? Malume? Eh. Where is Malume? Yes. What happened to her, Mama, Baba? Uh, she fell while walking, shorter, walking to work. She was going to work? Yes. When was that? About a month ago, for sure. Of April. Huh? On the 15th of April. So you're not going to work now? Yes. Because of this? Yes. Yeah. Do you believe Jesus can heal you? Yes. Okay. Come. Walk. Stop there. In Jesus' name. Don't touch her. Because even me, I didn't touch her. In Jesus' name. See what she's doing now. Look what she's doing now. Can you see what she was doing there? Kicking that leg that she has no kick. Who touch her is Jesus. Stand up. Can you stand up? 
Stand up. Rise up, walk, you are healed. Walk. Look how she walk now. Walk. Now you can be fast. Walk. There's a cement there that is blocking. Can you just walk? Uh -huh. How do you feel in your leg? Let's ask her. Are you feeling pain? No. You're no longer feeling pain. Mm. If we remove this cement, this lady can run here. Walk. You can see there's a difference now. You are healed forever in Jesus' name. Let's get another one. Uh -huh. Greetings in the name of Jesus. On the 15th of April, as I was going to work, I slipped and I fell. When I fell, my right leg twisted. When I got to the hospital, they said my ankle bone is cracked. And then ankle And the ankle inside my leg is, is opened. And then Mark Sanchi operation, K operation. They said I must go for an operation. internal bleeding. When they operated me, they found that I have internal bleeding. And they said I also have uh, passes in my leg. They can't operate me because it can spread throughout the whole leg. And then bare into eka khosa gore ba they said that it can even cause them to cut off my leg. So, operation J4. I went through four operations. The first one, they cleaned the infection. The second time, they also cleaned the infection. And the third one, they The third one, they patched my ankle on the outside. When they were supposed to discharge me, they said my operation didn't go well. I have to go back to theater so that they may close the hole that I had in my leg. I finished the whole month in the hospital. May They discharged me on the 17th of May. And then for checkup day two one. I went back for checkup on the 31st. They said when I got there, they said my, my bones are not coming together. They put cement on my leg. And then on, on the, on the 8th, I came to church with my uncle. And then somewhere there. I was sitting that side. And then Prophet uh, Andres Van Tabelel. Then Prophet Andres prayed for me. When I came here, I was using crutches. I couldn't walk on my own. I couldn't walk on my own. When he prayed for me, I was able to stand up and it was my first time I could walk without using my crunches. I moved from where I was to where the camera is for me to give my testimony. It was the first time I walked that, that, that distance. Uh, and then in next week, I the following week, Apostle prayed for me again. The whole of my leg, I couldn't put it down. I could only put my toes. So yesterday, I went back for checkup. Crutches. They said, my, my bones are joined together now. They took out the cement. They said, now I can walk freely on my own without my crutches. So, Dr. When the doctor told me I shouldn't use crutches anymore, I, I had already thrown them away. I really like to thank God for healing me. I really like to thank the family also of my uncle.
The love and support that they showed me throughout this time. Amen.